Hey everybody! I'm here today to show you how to measure resistance with a multimeter. This will be a simple tutorial, so let's get right into the video. Now, you might want to measure resistance on something like this. This is actually a resistor. I actually have a couple more over here. These are actually resistors. And if you want to measure these to see how much resistance they have, how much resistance they offer, then I'm going to show you how to do that in this video. This will be a sort of in-depth tutorial. I'm going to go over everything that you need to know. So we're going to start from scratch over here. You can see on your multimeter, you have, you're going to have uh, more than likely three ports. On some multimeters, they even have an additional port. But you're going to have probably at least three. Now, the ones that you want to use are the common one right here you can see it says com for common and then the one over here that shows the symbol for ohms okay also known as omega okay so as you can see this is ohms and it's also known as omega okay very simple that little symbol right over there it's also right over there it says ohms that's the omega symbol right there so we're going to take the black probe we're going to plug it into the common slot we're going to take the red probe plug it into the one that has the ohms symbol or the omega symbol okay just like that now on your multimeter you're going to have a section that is dedicated to measuring ohms also known as resistance so we're looking for resistance but we measure it in ohms ohms is a unit of measurement now you're going to want to take your uh, dial and you're going to want to turn it to one of these numbers over here now essentially these numbers set pretty much the maximum resistance that you would be able to measure. So some people like to start at the top and then work their way down to find out the resistance. Others like to start at the bottom and work their way up. Very simple. We're going to start at the bottom over there. So I'm starting at the lowest number. In this case, it's 200. Now, there's something that we have to do before we actually measure the resistance. So you can see that that is, is saying one, okay, which is meaning that there's sort of no connection, okay, no connection. Some, some multimeters will actually say OL, which which usually stands for open loop, um, but it means that they're not connected basically. There's no circuit, there's no flow, okay? Now what you wanna do is you wanna take the two probes and touch them together, just like that, okay? Now as you can see, I'm getting a reading right there. And it's saying 0, 0, 0.2, okay? Now, it doesn't really matter too much what the number is, but the most important thing is that you know that it's working because it goes from one, which means that there's no circuit, to closing that loop, and we're getting a reading, okay? So once again, it doesn't really matter what the number is too much, but you can see we're getting a reading. Now, just for clarification, we can turn it higher. So now we're at the 2000 mark, and we're gonna do this right here, okay? Now, as you can see, it says 001, and I'm gonna turn it all the way up, okay? We went up to the, uh, the uh, all the way at the top right there, which is 2000K, which essentially stands for 2 million, because it's 2,000 thousands, okay? So now we're gonna touch these together, and now you can see that it says zero, zero, zero. So what that means is that we have a loop, because that means there's, n that means there's no loop right there. We have a loop, but it is unable to read it because the reading is too small. The number is too small. We have the meter set too high. So now that you know that, we can actually measure the resistance on these resistors, okay? So very simple. I've set it down to the 200. Okay, now check this out. I'm going to take this resistor right here. And these colors actually mean something. You can look up the color code for the resistor, and it's going to give you an idea of what the resistance is and the tolerance and so forth. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this resistor. Now, ideally, you know, first of all, you want to make sure that everything is disconnected with regards to like no power is going to the circuit. So these are all disconnected. But even if this is on a circuit board, you want to make sure that no power is going to that circuit board. Unplug it, do whatever you need to do to ensure that no power is going to there because you want to be safe number one and number two you want to get an accurate reading all right let's get into it i know it took a while to get into it but i really wanted to show you everything so you fully understand what's happening so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take these probes right here i'm going to place them like this and as we place them on here we should get a reading we're not getting a reading so i just actually tested this and weirdly enough we're not getting a reading now what i'm going to do is i'm going to crank it up a little bit higher okay so now we're getting a reading so check that out Check that out. I guess I just fooled myself. When it was too low, when the reader was too low, okay, over here, we weren't getting a reading, as you can see. Now that the reader is higher, okay, I'm going to go ahead 
and we're going to get a reading. So as you can see right here, it says 1014, 1014. And the way you interpret that, it all depends on what level you're reading at. But basically, you want to just make sure you're measuring it at the appropriate one. Now, as you see, I went to a higher scale here, and now it's 1.01. .01. So if I saw a number like this, I would be like, you know what? I want a more accurate reading because 1.01 does not allow for a lot of accuracy. So I would go down to get a more accurate reading. It's like zooming in versus zooming out. When you go to a lower reading level, you're zooming in. Okay. As you can see here, let's bring that out of the glare. As you can see here, once again, 1015. Okay. Now, remember, when you touch the probes together, this is going to show you the resistance of the probes themselves, which is like one, like I said over there. Okay. And you kind of, kind of take that number away from here. Now, in this case, it's no big deal because we're taking away one not a big deal but if you get a higher number if you get a number for some odd reason like 30 40 70 some number 100 whatever the case is you're gonna have to take that away because the resistance of this is also separate from like when they're added together when you see that number so the resistance of the probes by themselves and the resistor are added together Okay, very simple and straightforward. Now in another situation, I also have two more over here. Okay, so you can see they all look different, different color codes, different sizes. They come in all shapes and sizes. If I take this one right here, okay, I'm gonna scroll through the numbers, okay? And as you can see, we're not getting a reading. All right, very simple. We're not getting a reading for this one. Okay, I was testing these before. I brought these out for a very specific reason. Oh, look at that, we are now. We are getting a reading now. So this resistor, we had to go all the way up to the two, the, the two million range over here. And as you can see, it's a very strong resistor because even in that range, we're getting a huge reading. Okay, we'll call it the high 400s. That's a big reading, okay? Now we're going to get the last one over here. We're going to try and test this one out. Okay, let's see if we can get a reading. All righty. Yes, we are indeed. Now this one, it looks like it's even higher. Look at that, 560, so above 550. We're getting a very high reading. Now one thing you'll notice is that resistors have all different ohm levels of resistance, okay? It's really interesting, okay? Because when you look at them, they're like, you're like, oh, they're the same, but they all have different levels. And that's basically, that is how to measure resistance with a multimeter. Also, separately, I wanted to tell you that if you reverse the probes, so let's say I reverse the probes, okay? So let's say I'm reading it this way. Okay, no problem. We're gonna flip this around, okay? So now we've reversed the probes, okay? Let's read it again. As you can see, it doesn't make a difference because resistance is non-directional, meaning you can put either color on either side of these and you're gonna get, you should get the same reading in theory, okay? And that's basically it. That is essentially how to measure resistance with a multimeter. I really hope that you've enjoyed this uh, rather in-depth tutorial. If you liked the video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.